imagine the situation that you're in at the moment, whatever your challenge is, what if that challenge was the biggest gift to move you to the next level? So I'll give you an example here. In 2009, I had to make a decision um, either to sell my shares in the business I had built up and walk away or to stay in a business that I loved but I knew in my heart of hearts wasn't what I should be doing. And the 2008 recession forced me to make a decision that changed the trajectory of my world in such a positive way. But at the time, I was just like, I, what's, what's going on? And I believe that, that we all have like a pre-plan a pre when we, before we come to this planet, um, what, you know, what we're going to do in our life. And if you're on the wrong course, something gets put in your way to, to basically course correct you. And that can come in the form of um, pandemic, can come in the form of a recession, it can come in the form of an illness, can come in the form of, um, you know, a potential business disaster. But what's actually happening is you're probably on the wrong track and something is correcting you to say, get on the right track. So this situation that you've got at the moment where you're hitting challenges or things aren't going well, you've got, you've got a decision that you can make. And you can either retract and hide or actually can say, right, this, imagine this is the opportunity to really shift me up a gear, to shift me to a place that I know that I should be going to, but I've either been putting off because I'm fearful about doing it or um, I just don't know, it's going into the unknown, I don't know what it's going to look like. And so what I want you just to think about now is what is that thing that you've been putting off doing that you know that you should be doing? Um, that this is perhaps forcing you to do. So there's quite a few people I've spoken to over the last couple of um, months who shouldn't, you know, actually maybe should be doing a different career. Might actually be far better off being uh, an executive coach or um, a mentor rather than running a recruitment business. There's also people I've spoken to who've got severely underperforming staff members or they've got divisions that, that have, they've got a legacy within their business, but that's the old them that they've been talking about and having issues with for months, months and months, if not years, that actually they finally had to make the decision, I'm going to cut that because it actually doesn't serve us anymore. It could be that you've been talking about getting fit or getting healthy. I don't know, whatever it is, there'd be something that's been sort of tapping, tapping at you. Um, and what happens is, first of all, like you get a pebble flicked at you. And then if you don't pay attention, then a stone gets chucked at you. And if you still ignore that um, thing in your head, then a, a brick wall falls down on you. And then if you still ignore it, then a house falls on you. And quite a few people's houses are falling on them at the moment. And what I'm saying is that is a great thing because it's basically going, right, wake up. This is time. It's time to change. It's time to do that thing that you've been putting off doing for um, for ages. So what is that thing? 